everyone, Sebastian here from Green Music Productions, and today we're taking a look at a crazy multi-effect plugin called Enrage by Boom Library. Now, if you haven't seen my Enforcer review by Boom Library, I'll leave a link in the description below. Make sure to check it out because it is a plugin that I love and I use quite often. Uh, but today we're taking a look at Enrage. It is crazy the amount of content that there is in this plugin. You have 50 effects, you have a bunch of modulation source, 10 different modulation source types, and 12 slots for modulation sources. You also have some controls uh, to re-trigger the different modulation sources. And the beautiful thing is that you have not only eight slots for effects, but you have six rows of eight slots. So you can basically have many effects in series and in parallel. So, uh, but first let's listen to a couple of presets obviously they included over 250 presets so even if you don't understand the plugin you can get really creative just with the presets so let's listen to what we're working with it's just a simple vocal sample Now you can search for a specific word in the presets or you can use the different filters. You can filter by type, category or subcategory. So that's useful. So let's just browse to random presets now. <laughs> I love that effect. I could see myself using this preset in some of my music production. Some stutter stuff. So there's a bunch of things, um, but if you want, you can just start with a clean slate and add the plugins that you want. So let's try that out. Um, let's try to first, we already have a gain, so let's try to add a delay. Now let's try a grain delay. These are really interesting. I can add some rate. And tweak the pitch. Add some feedback. And the cool thing is I can use the modulation to modulate any of those parameters. So let's start simple and add an LFO. Use that LFO by dragging this icon over here to modulate the rate. Now we can click again and hold and use the mouse to increase or decrease the modulation uh, depth. So let's also modulate the pitch and put the wet dry to maximum. So the beautiful thing is we have a wet dry on the master, but we also have a wet dry on most of these effects. So you can always blend specific effects. Um, now this is a bit too crazy for me, so I'm just gonna use a regular tape delay instead. Um, let's just delete this one. To start with now let's add some distortion uh, let's add obviously you have a bit crusher sample reducer you have some more typical distortion and you have a wave shaper that is really interesting you can basically draw your own shape for your distortion let's try very drive and again I'll use my LFO to modulate my balance. Now let's add a compressor to make sure it's not too harsh. Some filters. 
Now we have some really interesting filters. Obviously you have the typical multi filters where you can either have a band pass, high pass, low pass, that kind of stuff. You also have some parametric EQ, but you also have some vowel filters, some splash. Splash is really interesting. So if I use the envelope follower, for example, to modulate the frequency, and to modulate the gain. We get some interesting results. can look at what it's doing here and the beautiful thing is you can do mid side with this uh, plugin as well you can separate those bands so the left will be in one row the right will be in another row uh, and you can have up to six bands split if you want so it's crazy what you can do uh, now let's go to a generator I'm not gonna add a generator but you can basically just to show you add a sign and if I expand the stereo out in parallel, I also have a sign that I can add some effects underneath as well. So um, I could say uh, maybe not a crackle effect, but uh, pitch. And now I can use uh, the LFO. Let's add a chorus to this. So as you can see, you can get creative if you want. Uh, for now, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to use the um, oscillator, but it's an option and you have different types of oscillators as well. Now, uh, we also have uh, some imaging plugins. As I said, you can do some mid side. You also have some modulation. So the typical chorus flanger phaser vocoder uh, because this plugin does side chain in. So you can basically sing, play notes on the keyboard with the side chain in and have your own vocoder with this plugin. You can change the timber. So let's try that out. Now this is in a format shift mode, but you can change it. Just like that, I completely destroyed this vocal. But we haven't used the modulation sources that much. So let's try to use the voice shift and use the semitone with the envelope follow. Let's also drive the format with the LFO. How crazy is this? Now, I know if you're making music, you're probably wondering why this is useful, but I'm just doing random stuff right now to show you the different modules. But imagine if you just have a simple goal in mind, you add some compressors, some chorus, some delay, you can have your vocal chain over here and you can have different vocal chains in parallel and compare them really easily or combine them if you want. So it's really powerful and have some modulation to make it feel alive. So obviously you can also do some ducking with this since you have some modulation sources. So you can basically use a gain and modulate the source with either a transient modulation source or even the envelope follower or an LFO. There are so many things you can do. So this plugin can become pretty much any plugin that you want. Uh, if you want it to be a sidechain compressor, it can become one. If you want it to be a vocoder, it can become a vocoder. Uh, but now let's try a couple things on the drums. I only used a vocal track, but let's try some presets on this drum track right here. I'll use um, the filter. I'll just type in drum 
Let's see uh, what we have. So let's try this. It also does some denoising, so <laughs> yeah, and some de rumble. And again, you have a dry wet, so a master dry wet, so you can always just blend in the effect a little bit. Now this is gonna be great in parallel processing. So bypass with that's really cool. Same kind of stuff. Let's do some parallel processing. Bypassed with. Wow, that's crazy. So there's a lot that I didn't cover. I can do so many things. You also have a matrix where you can control a bunch of things. And as I said, you have 50 effects with 12 slots of 10 different modulation sources. And you can decide how you want to reset those modulation depending on triggers or side chain or things like that. So the possibilities are endless. You also have a bunch of macros so you can assign those macros to different settings. So let's say I wanted to use this macro to control, for example, a distortion amount. I could have it here. So now when I'm working on something else, I could always easily change the distortion with this macro. It is really powerful. I just scratched the surface. So I'll leave a link to the website below. So make sure to check it out. And if you like that kind of stuff, please click the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.